Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install, configure, and use Vuex in your application. So Vuex is one of the most requested topic for the video. In this video, I will make it easy and step by step way of how you can install it and use it. So you know, like if I explain Vuex, I'm not going to go to the topic in deep now. You can achieve what Vuex can do with pure view, and sometimes you don't need Vuex. But still, I am going to create the video for how to use Vuex, and in the future video, I might create a video of how you can achieve what Vuex can do with pure Vue.js, so that you will understand. Sometimes you might not need it, and the, the way Vuex is working, it is just a little data-driven way of doing something. It is a little long, but it is some more structured way of doing. Like you uh, extract your data in different parts, and that is how Vuex work. But with Vue.js alone, you can do what Vuex can do. So, so I will show you both ways. But first, you have to understand how Vuex work and what it does. So I will make it a lot easy in this video for you. So before I start on the Vuex, I'm going to talk about the channel that I have created a new logo. So someone in Fiverr just create a logo for me, and this is the new logo. I hope you guys like it. Uh, also, I created a Twitter account for this one. I just request you to follow me, not me, the account in Twitter, so I can post more videos and you can reach on Twitter. So if you like, I don't have a Facebook account, so I can't create a page for now. Maybe in future, but I'm not sure. Also, I created a Instagram account for this one, so I will post some nice topics about coding and stuff like that. So if you wanna. Read one of them. The secret is to build a service. Tell no one for a year about this, and launch it. Launch your service and boost uptime like hundred percent. This is something happens so much in our life. We do not work on our dream, and it happens like we talk it. Uh, we talk about like uh, the business in our mind with other people, but we never do it. So if you want to start a business, work for it for one year. And don't talk about uh, about it. Just do it. And once you finish uh, your business or your app or your application or service, then launch it, and then you are good to go. So that those are the things I'm going to share in the Instagram page. I hope they are something informative and inspire you to do something good in your life. So, uh, so let's start learning Vuex step by step. The first thing I'm going to teach you is installation. The documentation this is a lot, so I will make it short. Either you use CDN or you install it using npm. So we are going to use npm, and I will just open a split window here and paste it, and it should install Vuex for us. So it will take a few seconds. So if I come to the browser here, and I will open the developer tool for Vuex. You have a tab called Vuex here, for a developer tab for the view, and you have a tab for the Vuex. Currently, we say no view is set, uh, detected because we are not using Vuex currently. So after we install it, you have to see Vuex states here, and I will talk about everything Vuex does cover, like state, getters, mutators, actions, everything. So far, we do not have it here. So let's start by explaining what Vuex is. Vuex is we you know in the documentation this is it is a state management. What does that mean? And basically how it works is like you can store some of your data in a central place and you can change it from every component you want. You can change it, you can get it, you can modify it, you can do anything with that data. For example, we have add to cart button here. This is one component, and let's say you add to the cart the current product. And you send it to the cart. Let's say you have a mini cart that shows in the right sidebar. Currently, we do not have. And you add those data. So it should increase uh, that data to the cart by one. And that data should change at the same time. And when you go to the next tab, and that data should be here and is still from the next tab, you should be able to see those data, to change those data, to do anything. So how you do that one? That is like a global variable. If you want to change it, you can use Vuex to do that one. And there are some other use cases also. That was uh, the most common example of storing your data in a central place and changing it from every component easily. That is how Vuex is going to help you. So let's start doing it, like how it works and how you can use it. If I come here, it installs successfully, and the configuration is very really easy. I don't want to like make a lot of 
part C for you. So all you have to do is you come to the documentation and in the getting start, here is how you do that one. You are going to create a variable called store and then you can export it. So you can write this line of code in your main.js but basically what most people do is they create another file and that is how it should be done because store is where you store all your data so you can call it store.js you don't have to do this one but still this is how you do and now what you can do is you can say export default and once you write this one because we are going to import it somewhere else so you can say export default and you can come here and copy this line of code here only this portion so you will export only vuex and for now i will delete the mutation to make it a little easy for you to understand i will delete this part all we have for now is a state and a property here so i will save it for now we did not use it anywhere so how you are going to use it you will come to the main the js and you will add your vuex here so i will come to the installation again you will scroll down this is how you use it import it the tail view that i'm going to use vuex we have imported the view already so i can write it down here or anywhere i want so i will paste it here for now and basically that's all you have to do and it should compile successfully here for you that is all you have to do for vuex and everything is set up now now how you can use it you have to import your store and tell view that we have a store think of a store as a bucket where you can store a data and how you can do this one you can import it anywhere you want so what i can do is i can import it all the way here and you can say import you can give a variable called store from and you can write the name of your file and it is going to be store.js that's it and if i scroll up you know we have used import a lot import we use app we import any other thing and if i scroll down we use the same import store from oops it is form it should be from store.js that's all you have to do and i will close it you save it it should compile successfully yes it did now you have access to the store variable you will scroll down and you will after route or before route just write the store and now this is our main instance of the app and it has the variable called store in it i will save it as i said in the future video i will show you how you can do it without vuex how you can do like uh, all of this state management and for now if i come to my application and we refresh the page here and let's see if it can detect that we are using vuex or not so i will come to the vuex okay we got an error and let's come to the console and see what we have vuex is not defined so if i come to my application in the store we used vuex but we didn't import it here so that is one of the issue so to fix this issue i will come to the store.js you know we said vuex.store but we do not have vuex in this file so how you do that one you will come to the documentation and you will copy this code here and you will write it down here and now if i come to my main.js now i don't have to do this one here so i will save it for now here as well as in the store.js and if i save everything i will come to my application and we refresh it everything works fine if i come to the vuex so as you can see the vuex tab now we have a state here if you click on the sta state you have a variable called count so what is the state if you check the documentation the first concept is the state then getters mutations and action and modules so if i come here and explain you what is the state a state is where you store all your variable think of a state is the bucket or the data you store a state is like the data in the instance of Vue.js you know in the Vue.js for every component we have a data function right think of a state as a data that's why they call it a state and you can change anything inside that and if I check one of the component here let's say if the I come to the component 
we have uh, add to cart and it has a data function here we have data here in vuex we call it state and this is where you store all your data and you can change this data from anywhere in your application you have access to this one you can change it you can delete it you can access it you can do anything and basically this is how you can uh, configure vuex and now you have access to everything the next thing is learn how you can change this data and how you can store more data this is count let's say we have a variable called cart and the cart is going to store all our cart uh, our shopping cart information and the product or it is array of the product uh, someone is going to add to the cart and this is how you can use vuex so i hope it has been informative and in the next video i will talk about mutation and mutation is basically how you can change those instead here and that is in the next video thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video and don't follow i will link uh, the social network below this video i create free content and i always do it, so the only thing i ask you is just to follow some of the social networks i create so that i can get uh, more like engaging audience when i when i share my knowledge i just want more people to come to know and this is all free and that's all for you and thank you for watching and see you in the next video